<laughs> no, I can't, I can't. I'm so sorry. Wow, that's really hard. Hi, my name is Kelsey Dempsey, and I've been a barista for over three years. Hi, my name is Earl. I've been doing coffee for about eight years. Today, I'm gonna to be creating some latte art from Instagram. I got into being a barista in college as a part-time job. I went to Seattle when I was around 15, and I just started really getting into third wave coffee. I feel pretty, pretty nervous, yeah, but good. I'm like excited nervous. Like, I don't know what to expect, which is like exciting. Uh, the biggest challenge will be pouring pretty well um, with people watching me. Let's get started. All right. Oh, okay. Okay, I can do that. All right, okay, cool. Challenge accepted. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty excited. I'm hoping that this will work out. I've always wanted to do this. I had to do this quite often for a shop that I worked for. Um, they, that was your like signature latte art. And every time when people order the drink, they wanted that design. No, oh no, oh my goodness. It's a little mistake, but that is okay. Better than I thought, you know. Just gotta roll with it. You know, if you spill, just keep going. Sorry, I'm really focused right now. It kinda looks like half dog, half bear. <laughs> Brings back old memories. Sometimes you do pour over a little bit and you know, you just gotta keep going. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. You know, I'm open. <laughs> I, I, uh, I've never actually done 3D before. First I saw like little shapes and stuff. I'm like, oh yeah, I can do that. And then I saw that and I'm like, oh, threw me a curveball. All right, so I'm probably just going to steam a lot of milk so I have like enough foam. It's kind of like making a meringue. You want to incorporate a lot of air. I am a little vulnerable and humbled, I think. This feels like an art project. You know, just testing the waters. It's disappearing. It's not working, but that's okay. Could I redo this? Oh, this is stressing me out. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to get an A on this project, man. <laughs> we won't make it work. Wow, that's really hard. I'm just gonna make a face. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't. I can't. <laughs> I think I'm gonna tap out on this one. The things you see on Instagram aren't always as easy as they look. <sighs> wow. Pretty challenged. Good job, Instagram. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Okay, cool. Oh, I can pick? I am going to try that one. It's a tulip. Probably gonna do stacks, which is basically like you have like, you just like stack different um, layers of milk. This one I feel a lot more confident in. I'm hoping it will work out. Under uh, pressure, it's a little bit different. I think the best thing to do is start slow. There we go. I mean, it's not the same exact thing, but I like this one. The trick is you, you need, to, it's kind of like a bowling ball. You want to like let it slide over the crema. With that, like the, the foam from the milk will just kind of like fuse with the crema of the espresso and it'll float to the top, thus making the white part. That one I feel good about. That one, like if I serve to a customer, I'd be like, yes. <laughs> so I was going for the layered bottom, usual latte art. It kind of like strikes all the way through. I feel like this is just kind of my style. I think I did okay. Yeah, I think I could have done better. I would say... <laughs> I did as best as I could. I did good on like one, but like, you know, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> I think trying to recreate the 3D bear was the hardest thing. I would say in terms of feasibility, I would say the second one was probably the hardest. I'm definitely gonna practice. I think personally, if you really wanna learn latte art, just like watching videos on Instagram. It took me maybe a solid like year and a half, two years of just wasting milk. Nobody really wanted to train me to do that because I was so young, but I kind of trained myself, improved myself. Please don't order 3D latte art. <laughs> you will get your drink. 
in 30 minutes.